Welcome to Antec PowerPoint presentations. In the next couple of minutes, we will explain the Antec approach for the analysis of neurotransmitters using UHPLC with electrochemical detection. In this presentation, we first explain the Antec approach to develop system solutions and then show three applications for neurotransmitters. Antec is founded in 1990, and we are a provider of analyzers using electrochemical detection and electrochemical reactors for mass spectrometry. Antec developed the neurotransmitter analyzer for biologically relevant concentrations of a number of well-known neurotransmitters in microdialysites or brain tissue. Our application developers focus on a number of things. First, small samples. The smaller the sample volume, the better the time resolution in microdialysis. Secondly, sensitivity is also important, as some neurotransmitters have concentrations below 100 picomol per liter. Third, separation and selectivity are important for multi-component analysis. Our goal is to get as much information as possible from one drop of dialysite. And four, where possible, we look for ways to speed up the analysis. Our method development is based on the elimination of bottlenecks to get better results. Bottlenecks can be found everywhere in the system, from sampling to data handling. There is always a bottleneck somewhere in getting better results. Our first requirement is about working with small samples. A standard injection cycle to fill a 5 microliter loop uses about 20 microliter sample to fill the injection flow path. We developed an injection program that enables us to inject 4 microliter out of 5 microliter sample in a reproducible way. Instead of filling the entire sampling flow path, we pick up a small volume and move that to the injection loop. Another way to minimize the sample volume for injection is to couple the microdialysis online with an electric valve. No auto sampler is used, and the collection, storage, and freezing of samples is skipped. Instead, we have immediately results. Our second requirement is to develop a method with sufficient sensitivity. We put quite some effort in cell design to meet the required sensitivity. Antec developed a wall jet cell, which has a huge advantage. Thanks to this concept, the cell can be miniaturized and used in microLC without losing performance. Thanks to the wall jet concept, the cell can be miniaturized and used in microLC without losing performance. It is well known that microbore LC has less peak dilution, resulting more signal. Miniaturization using microelectrodes results in a low noise. So the combination results in an improved signal-to-noise ratio. Of course, improved sensitivity is useless if peaks are not well separated. Separation of peaks is really important. This can be difficult and time-consuming, especially in case of multi-component analysis. Resolution tells how well substances have been separated. The equation for resolution shows the parameters of importance. First, we select a column with sufficient efficiency and capacity, or retention. Next, we optimize the mobile phase to get our substances separated. Another way to improve selectivity is via the detection potential. In this example, it is shown when lowering the potential, the shouldering peaks disappear and the noradrenaline peak can be analyzed. New UHPLC columns have been developed with smaller particle size. According to the Van Demter equation, these columns should have improved efficiency and allow a higher flow rate. This is an example of UHPLC of a standard mix of neurotransmitters. Analysis time is less than two minutes is feasible for standards. However, we found there is a trade-off in analysis time versus detection limit. The first application we would like to show is the analysis of monoamines and metabolites. Microdialysis samples are collected in vials, antioxidant is added, and samples are usually stored in a freezer. 
Analysis is done using HPLC with electrochemical detection. This is an example chromatogram of standards. Detection limit is below 100 picomol per liter, less than 0.5 femtomol. This is an example of a real sample from rat prefrontal cortex. All peaks are having a bit more retention to be able to analyze noradrenaline, which is close to the solvent front. This is another example. In order to have enough retention for noradrenaline, the peaks are all somewhat more retained. Depending on the sample and the number of substances that need to be analyzed, the separation may become really difficult. For a situation where separation is really difficult, we developed a two-channel system. Using an auto sampler with a dual loop valve, we can inject small samples simultaneously on two optimized independent HPLC systems. For example, we can inject 10 microliter in two 5 microliter loops from 11 microliter sample. This is an example of one sample analyzed simultaneously on two completely different systems. Dopamine in channel 1 is hard to analyze next to HVA. However, on the other channel, it is no problem. This is another example of a standard mix containing the insect neurotransmitters octopamine and teramine. There are also situations where the analysis requirements are less complicated. Here, you see the analysis of dopamine and serotonin in less than one minute using UHPLC. This is a summary of the assay validation. Detection limits down to 50 picomol per liter have been obtained for monoamines. Analysis times depend on the difficulty of the sample. Examples between 1 and 15 minutes have been shown. The second application is the analysis of colon and acetylcholin. The analysis of colon and acetylcholin is pretty much similar to the monoamines. The same HPLC system is used, except for the imer. The imer is an immobilized enzyme reactor which is placed after the column and selectively converts colon and acetylcholin in peroxide, which is detected. This is an example of a standard mix of colon and acetylcholin. Analysis time is less than five minutes. These are the settings. Note that we use a short UHPLC column for fast analysis times. Selectivity is coming from a combination of the enzyme reactor and the low potential. These are examples of real samples in rat and mouse microdialyzite. This is the assay validation. A detection limit down to 300 picomol per liter has been obtained, and the analysis time is five minutes. The third application is the analysis of GABA and glutamate. The method for GABA and glutamate is similar to the analysis of monoamines, except for the in-needle derivatization. GABA and glutamate are not electrochemically active, Therefore, an OPA derivatization is required. Here, you see our injection program, which is modified to facilitate the OPA derivatization. First, we aspirate sample and OPA reagent. Then, we move the sample back and forth to mix. And finally, it is moved to the loop and injected. These are the settings. We use a short UHPLC column to speed up the analysis. This is a real dialysis sample showing the peaks for GABA and glutamate. In the chromatogram, peaks appear between 30 and 50 minutes. These late eluders are a problem as they appear in the next chromatogram when running a sequence. To clean up these late eluding substances, we programmed a step gradient after the run. The column is washed in one minute, and during the next injection cycle, the system is equilibriated and ready. This is an overlay of eight sequential runs. This is the assay validation. A detection limit down to 10 nanomole per liter has been obtained. The analysis time is 15 minutes, including the cleanup step. 
The Alexis Neurotransmitter Analyzer is designed and optimized for analysis of a number of neurotransmitters at relevant concentrations. A number of challenging requirements for sensitivity, selectivity, and sample volume are met, and where possible, the speed of analysis is increased using UHPLC. Thank you for your attention. For further details on Antec's products and applications, visit www.myantec.com.